For decades, the heavy-lift launch market was dominated by cost-heavy, expendable rockets, machines that could carry immense payloads, but with massive price tags and no second chances. Among them, NASA's Saturn V and United Launch Alliance's Delta IV Heavy set the standard for brute force. Then came SpaceX, reshaping the entire equation. In 2018, SpaceX introduced a rocket unlike anything seen before a launch vehicle with three boosters, 27 engines, and the ability to land back on Earth for reuse. That rocket was the Falcon Heavy, a partially reusable super-heavy lift vehicle designed to handle everything from national security payloads to deep space scientific missions. It quickly established itself as a cornerstone of U.S. launch capability, delivering for NASA, the military, and private clients. But now... Just seven years after its debut, SpaceX is preparing to retire this remarkable rocket. In this video, we'll explore why SpaceX is moving away from the Falcon Heavy, what this means for the launch market, and how the company's vision is shifting toward its next-generation rocket, Starship. But before we dive in, make sure you're subscribed to stay updated with the latest shifts in the space industry. The Falcon Heavy was built on a straightforward concept. Take three Falcon 9 boosters, strap them together, and triple the power. At liftoff, it generates over 5 million pounds of thrust, making it the most powerful operational rocket in the world until NASA's SLS came online. Each mission uses a central core stage flanked by two reusable side boosters. Its second stage, a single vacuum-optimized Merlin engine, inserts payloads into precise orbits. This architecture allowed Falcon Heavy to lift up to 63.8 metric tons to low Earth orbit and 26.7 metric tons to geostationary transfer orbit, rivaling and sometimes exceeding its competitors in performance. From a technical perspective, Falcon Heavy was a masterpiece of integration. Yet, it was never intended to be SpaceX's endgame. It was always a transitional vehicle designed to bridge the gap between Falcon 9's capabilities and the ambitions of interplanetary travel. Economically, Falcon Heavy brought disruptive value. Thanks to its reusable boosters, launch costs dropped significantly, giving clients a cost-effective alternative to legacy heavy lift providers. Its design also allowed for operational flexibility, supporting commercial satellite deployments, scientific exploration, and classified military missions. This multi-role adaptability made it the go-to choice for clients like the U.S. Space Force, the National Reconnaissance Office, and NASA. It's been the rocket of choice for high-profile missions, notably the Tesla Roadster demonstration flight in 2018, the NASA Psyche mission to a metal-rich asteroid in 2023, and numerous national security payloads. These missions proved its reliability and precision. So, why retire such a capable system? The answer lies in SpaceX's broader vision. Falcon Heavy, while revolutionary, is only partially reusable. The central core booster is rarely recovered, and its three-booster configuration adds complexity to each mission. Coordinating the simultaneous landing of two or three boosters is a logistical challenge, both from an engineering and operational standpoint. More importantly, SpaceX is shifting its entire infrastructure toward Starship, a fully reusable next-generation rocket system that is designed to outperform Falcon Heavy in every critical metric. Starship is projected to lift 150 tons to low Earth orbit, more than twice Falcon Heavy's capacity. And unlike Falcon Heavy, Starship aims to be completely reusable, drastically slashing costs and turnaround time. From SpaceX's standpoint, continuing to operate two separate heavy-lift systems doesn't align with its long-term goals. Starship isn't just a bigger rocket. It's a systems architecture intended to serve everything from Earth orbit to Mars colonization. By concentrating resources on Starship, SpaceX is betting on scale, standardization, and exponential cost reduction. There are also market factors at play. Despite Falcon Heavy's capabilities, the demand for super-heavy lift vehicles is still relatively limited. Many commercial payloads don't require such high capacity, and mega-constellations like Starlink are already being deployed using Falcon 9. For the few missions that do require heavy lift, Starship is poised to handle them more efficiently. 
There's also criticism that continuing to launch Falcon Heavy diverts resources from the rapid development and testing of Starship. As space ambitions grow more complex and cost-sensitive, the value proposition shifts firmly toward full reusability, and Falcon Heavy can't fully meet that standard. That doesn't mean Falcon Heavy didn't leave a mark. Its first mission, famously launching a Tesla Roadster into deep space, wasn't just a publicity stunt. It was a technical demonstration that captured global attention. It validated heavy lift reusability and showed the world that cost-effective spaceflight wasn't theoretical anymore. Its role in launching NASA's Psyche mission in 2023 further demonstrated its operational maturity. That mission required precise trajectory control and a powerful boost toward the asteroid belt. Falcon Heavy delivered, proving that commercial rockets could handle complex interplanetary science. But as Starship moves closer to full-scale operational capability, SpaceX is preparing for a clean transition. With each Starship test flight, SpaceX refines its manufacturing, flight systems, and reusability protocols. Eventually, all future missions from lunar landers to Mars cargo will be served by Starship. The implications of Falcon Heavy's retirement are significant. If Starship succeeds, it could reshape the economics of launch services across the board. Government agencies, commercial companies, and international partners may gain access to space at a fraction of today's cost. Deep space missions, orbital tourism, and even lunar settlements could shift from science fiction to logistics problems. Retiring Falcon Heavy is not a step backward. It's a strategic pivot. It signals the closing of a chapter built on partial reusability and the opening of one where reusability is total, costs are minimized, and launch cadence can increase dramatically. It also sends a message to the rest of the industry. SpaceX is not content with incremental improvements. It aims for disruption at scale. The aerospace sector must now respond to this pivot. Traditional heavy lift providers may find themselves outdated unless they too adopt full reusability. The retirement of Falcon Heavy could accelerate industry-wide change, influencing design philosophy, investment flows, and international space strategies. In conclusion, Falcon Heavy will be remembered as a game-changer, bridging the old world of expendable rockets with the new era of reusable systems. Its retirement isn't a loss, it's a milestone. And as SpaceX fully embraces Starship, the stakes are even higher. The transition won't be easy, and Starship still has critical technical hurdles to clear. But if SpaceX succeeds, the legacy of Falcon Heavy will be clear. It was the rocket that proved the impossible was achievable and made way for something even more ambitious. What comes next may redefine our relationship with space entirely.